here with you. Sorry I haven't been around this week. I just wasn't feeling in the mood to craft. And so I've been like really, really into uh, my game. Uh, by the way, somebody asked last time what the game was. It's Animal Crossing. So you might have heard of it. It's on Nintendo. And I just adore that game. Like I adore it. So I really wanted to have an island in the southern hemisphere. So I purchased another game so that I can put it on the um, switch of my uh, youngest, William and uh, this way he can also play uh, the game and so today which is Saturday I spent a big chunk of my day um, setting up the island so it's been very exciting but now I feel like doing a bit of mixed media something a bit messy so I figured we're gonna play in this journal because I really want to finish it and there's a bunch of pages that are more difficult for me to use for for um, when I'm doing, um, uh, when I'm working on the take five. So I thought maybe we could do uh, some of it. And I'm thinking that this might be a good place for it. Um, just because I'm gonna do go in purples. So maybe I can, I can use this as my, my base. I pulled out my bin of people and I thought I could do that uh, but first we'll just play and make a mess and just enjoy the process I guess. Uh, I also pulled out this which is um, which was gifted some tissue paper and I thought that would be cool. There was some paint on my, my brush now it's like all dusty in there. Okay, so let's just uh, let's just put down some paint and uh, see where that leads us. And I figured the tissue paper would be really pretty. I've also pulled out um, I've also pulled out some stencils because I mean if I'm going mixed media, it may be fun. Should have shaken it. Let's go dark. I'm brushing it a lot, it's not coming out as dark, so I guess I should not spread it too much if I want it to show dark. to find the right one because I have a few. I'm 
guess we'll just go with this one then. Just for paper. And this is the beautiful paper that I was referring to. So just tear a piece of it. The rest in the bin. Seems like a really fresh color, so. So I just want to also wish a uh, happy Easter to all my Orthodox friends who are celebrating Easter today, where we celebrated it um, last Sunday. used it in so long that there's this crusty film on it. Uh, where are my Kleenexes? I used to have a box and it looks like someone took my box of Kleenex. Nice. That's what happens when you've got kids that go and get in your stuff. something. I right, guess so do this again. I haven't been using my uh, the uh, Mod Podge or my Liquitex in a very long time so I used to use it a lot for napkins and such and I don't know what happened. I stopped. I stopped doing stuff that was using it. I haven't chosen my image yet, so I'm going to have to do that. Right now I'm just playing up make, making a mess, basically, I guess you could say. And is there a rhyme or reason for, for this? No, it's just playing with mediums and, and having fun. Um, you know, gluing paper together there's, does, doesn't have to have a rhyme or reason to it. I'm just going to put that there. And then unite both sides. dry this. Ouch. That hurt. I just jam my finger on the um, the cutter of my uh, tape. I should put the guard up. This is very sharp. Oh. 
wonder if I have a big quote that I could put on this here as the accent because it's already got it's already beautiful paper like I don't want to put too much on it to cover it up Leanne had done a really nice job on choosing the papers for this book I'm filming. I'm filming. Wait two seconds. Okay, so here we go. Um, I'm thinking I was going to put it there, but I'm thinking it could be very nice just here. And maybe I could put a figure on there and then I could turn this around and do the same thing like on here maybe something like that which is not at all the what the plan was but I mean Hoping this is gonna hold it. Yeah, I don't want it to show too much if I open this up, so I'm gonna put it more like here, which covers most of it. Okay, and uh, okay, so I wanted to put some some stenciling. Uh, here we go. more it's not it's a weird texture
here we go. And so now I could put somebody on there. I can find the right person. Oh, she would be pretty. She's the right colors. I would end up covering most of this unless unless I go something more like that but then I'm cutting her off which is kind of sad or I could use her on this side and then I need somebody on here still um, would have been cute but that's not what I'm looking for it might be pretty I think I'm gonna go with her so And cut her out. I really like her on here. I really, really like her. Okay, so, so I'm gonna put her here. Whoa! I really like her. I think she's really pretty on here. And I think she fits with this. Now, I don't think I want to put anything else here. So, I think I'm going to date it. We're the 18th April 2020. And here on this side, Do I want to add some stenciling here? Some splatters? Something? I don't know. If I put her here, at least I'm not covering up so much of the paper. Here 
going. So that's and uh, Now, I don't want this to be all purple because it doesn't seem to fit. Like, it's too perfect. So, let's add something to it. Yeah, I'm thinking I want to add some uh, I probably want to add some washi tape and I'm thinking black that would be pretty so let's see what I have in black that we could use for this maybe some Art. both sides together and I'm wondering what else I want to add my um, for this I'm using one of those bins I had bought a cart from uh, Michaels and that's what I use to store my washi tape. It's going to tie with some of the black as well. just like that and I wonder if I want to do a border around this or not I'm gonna go for it Technically, I should have done that ahead of time, but it doesn't matter. Because I would have put my April differently, but it's okay. It's all good. It's my own, so it doesn't matter. Now, let's put a sentiment on here, because that's what I'm missing. What do I want to put? I wonder if I can find a quote or something from this book. Think happy, be happy. I think 
that would be the right colors. Yeah. And in this time of all the with the coronavirus and everything, I think we need to think happy and to try to stay happy. So, so yeah, so that will be my piece for today. I hope you've enjoyed seeing the process of this and I'm looking forward to reading your comments and that's it for now. Bye everyone!